Hello everybody, welcome to my protection workshop. We already spoke about how to protect your pieces with wax, but what if you want something different and something stronger? What we got here is hemp oil, clear coat, gator hide and big mama's bottle. For natural protection, we have hemp oil and big mama's bottle. These are for those of you who love natural products. These can be absorbed by chalk paint or raw wood. I love Big Mama's Bada because it smells like oranges. I love to use these for inside of my furniture, for drawers, to bring the wood back to life and moisturize it. And I also use it as a protection. I use this just like a regular wax. Wipe it on and wipe off any extra. Hemp oil is very similar. It's used to treat wood, but you can also use it as protection for your child paint. It's pretty easy to use. You just throw some on your cloth and wipe it on. Now let's talk about heavy protection. Dixie Belle has clear coat and gator hide for this. So the first heavy protection that Dixie Belle has is clear coat. This is available in three choices, flat, satin and gloss. You need to apply two to three coats in very thin layers. Once dry, it's water resistant. It's a great way to finish your pieces, but personally, I love Gator Hide. Gator Hide is more like a polyurethane and repels water. As you know, polyurethane is a very durable finish, but it's also known to yellow your pieces over time. And that's why I like Dixie Belle Gator Hide. If used correctly, it's just as durable as polyurethane, but it won't yellow your pieces. You can apply it with a brush or a blue sponge. I use bold, but now I love to use my two inch mini brush for protection. I recommend to have one brush just for clear coats and gator hide. Do not use the same brush that you use for gator hide for paint. There's a few tricks that I learned that makes working with gator hide much easier. First off, you want to keep your brush wet all the time when working with gator hide. It's very important to wet your brush, but do not put water in your gator hide. This is what I do when using gator hide. Now that our brush is wet, I'm going to dip it in gator hide and start applying it. Shake well. Apply thin coats, do not overwork gator hide at any moment if you're working on a big surface, if you feel that gator hide is not going smoothly, just wet your brush again and continue working with it. You do not want to keep going over it, it's better to come back on the second coat or third coat if you have missed something in the previous coat. Kitchen countertops or backsplash use up to six coats of gator hide. For kitchen cabinets, use up to three to four coats of gator hide. For dressers, you can use two to three coats of gator hide. And wash your brush immediately after you're done with the gator hide. Once dry, this stuff is very durable, much more durable than wax. And that's it. Now you know how to apply more durable or different top coats and I will see you in the next workshop. Bye.